Hi, uh, my name's Tim. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to give you a book review on The Kempton Waste Letters by Jack London. This is part of my year of Jack London where I'm trying to read a different Jack London story every month because I bought the complete stories collection on my Kindle. Um, so The Kempton Waste Letters are, it's quite short. I think it's under 50,000 words in terms of the book. It's like a very short novel, um, a novella maybe. And it consists of letters between two different people. One of them is a scientist in California, and the other is a, a poet in London. And uh, the scientist is announced he's getting married, and the, the poet is not happy because he's getting married for the wrong reasons and he's marrying the wrong partner. And the, the poet in London talks about romance being very important. It's a driver. It's one of those things that affects your soul, affects your happiness. And, and we are a romantic species who should follow our, our gut instinct is, you know, very important. And while the scientist has a very scientific approach and he's actually this partner, um, he may not feel a spark, but it makes sense. It makes logical sense. And um, it's the right thing to do. It's stable incomes. They have similar industries, similar ages, similar aspirations, career aspirations. They're putting off the engagement, putting off the wedding because they have other stuff that they want to do first. And it's quite it's a reasonable concept in terms of two people writing letters to each other on complete opposite ends of a topic and discussing with each other. The thing is, is that I this didn't work for me. This is I didn't finish it. Um, I got halfway through and nothing had changed from the concept that I just told you. They literally just kept writing letters saying the same thing again and again and again and again and again. And I was like, I'm done with this. I'm just, I was just bored, um, of hearing the same point told in a slightly different way. And then the person comes back and refutes the point with, by making the same point that they've done previously. Just rinse and repeat and repeat and repeat and repeat. Um, and so I kind of skipped. I, I was like, I've done with this. So I was just skipping through and then I realised, I saw that there was... All that I missed from missing the second 50% of the book was that the scientist did a talk about how his views on how love isn't very important. And his fiance heard that and they separated. Um, that's it. That's all I missed by not reading a whole second half of a book. So this was one start for me. This is the worst Jack London story I've read so far. Um, and I think it's it. the prose was still great and the voice was very strong for the two writers. But they just kept making the same points over and over again. So I thought, I'm done with this. I want, other, I want to read other stuff. I've got it on my Kindle if I want to go back to it. But I don't think I will. And anyway, so would I recommend The Kempton Waste Letters by Jack London? No. No, I would not. Worst book of the year so far from me. Oh, well. Anyway, I'll see you guys soon. And get out of my house!